So hi everyone, today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Aditya with us. So Aditya, would you like to introduce us to the funds? Yes. Hi Ashish and hello everyone. Myself, Aditya Yogesh Patil and I have I have completed my computer engineering from SSBT College, Telgao. And I recently appeared for the TCS Prime interview. The result is yet to be declared, but uh, for me it went well and I'm waiting for the result. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you guys can see, he has very recently appeared for the TCS Prime interview, and the Prime role is pretty much the best role that TCS hires for, both for fresher and postgraduate. And in this video, we'll be discussing the interview experience and his preparation as well in depth. So Aritya, can you talk about your interview experience, like from the beginning till the end, like what all happened in details? Yes, yes, sure. So it started from the form filling of the TCS NQT, and it approximate in the February month. Uh, I appeared for the TCS NQT exam in March. So in the TCS NQT, it is uh, basically the uh, TCS NQT in that there are the two sections like foundation section and advanced section. In foundation section, there are the three sections also like numerical, logical and the verbal. And advanced section, there was a coding part and the advanced aptitude. And in numerical, logical and the verbal each contain the 20 20 and 25 questions and the advanced code advanced aptitude also contain the 20 questions i guess and the two coding part two coding questions for one coding question there will be a 30 minute 30 minute time and second coding question there is a one hour time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes all right and uh, in NQT, let's go in a bit into the details. For aptitude part, let's talk about first. So what was the difficulty according to you? And which part did you feel was the most difficult? Yes, so for me, the numerical part was a bit difficult. Because there is a, there are the 25 minutes and we have to solve the 20 questions in it. And if the person practice well, then only he can solve in dinner 25 minutes, 20 questions. So for me, I have solved around 12 to 13 questions correctly out of 20. And other questions, I guess the output rather than solving it because it is not possible to solve the 20 questions, entire 20 questions in a 25 minute. Yes, so I solved 13 to 14 questions and rather questions I use the guessing. So the difficulty for the numerical was medium. And for the logical, it is uh, easy to medium and verbal part was easy. Not the bit difficult for me. Getting a job in TCS is easy, but TCS Prime is a different story altogether. The Prime role is reserved only for the top 1% of all the candidates that apply. You get 9 to 11 LPA package. You get to work in the latest technologies like AIML, health tech, and even in defense. Even the top tier colleges students apply for TCS Prime role. So the question isn't how do you crack the prime role? The question is that does your college actually make you ready for a role like TCS prime? To be ready for a role like TCS prime, you need to be AI first. And the issue with all of the colleges of today is that they're still stuck on the age old curriculum. But Mirai School of Technology is different. Here, everything is AI first. And right from the first semester, you start learning things like AI ML, Python, deep learning, prompt engineering, and all of these things right from the start. And the founders are Arpit Sarda, who's ex-JP Morgan from Bitspilani, and Karthik Varun, the duo behind coding blocks, which have like trained thousands and thousands of developers. And the curriculum doesn't only have AI, but it has internship and projects that are of prime level. So what is in the curriculum, you might ask. So it starts from year one, where you have next level practical. You get to learn JavaScript, Python, C++, AI mathematics, and you get to make some really cool industry grade projects. Then in year two, the real magic begins. You start learning machine learning, NLP, computer networks, and all of this, not in a theoretical sense, but in a practical sense. Now in third, fourth year, you're going to complete beast mode. You start learning gen AI, large language models, and you also have a six months guaranteed internship waiting for you. And you start learning cloud deployment and real world scenarios. Now, how do you get entry into this? So there's a two hour exam that is online which will have aptitude and logic. You don't need any coding to clear this exam. And the best part is that the top scorers get 100% of scholarship. Girls in tech get 20% of scholarship and defense families get 30% of scholarship. And what is the deadline? Again, 
So the deadline is on 4th of July to register. The exam is on 5th of July. So you need to be hurry. And with that, you'll be able to choose a AI first college like Mirai. So don't waste any more time. Go to the link in the description and register on msorp.org. And yeah, let me know how it goes. Now let's get back to the video. Yes. And uh, what about the coding part? Like you said, you have two coding problems. Can you tell yes. us the can type of uh, problems were there, like the topic, the difficulty? Uh, yes, yes, because the first question was the easy, right? Uh, there are the, they're given the two two numbers like M, num, M and N. Uh, we need to find the Mth prime number to the Nth prime number and return the sum of all of them. Yes, and the second question is of graph. And it can be solved using the normal BFS. Okay, so second was a graph traversal problem. Graph what traversal was the difficulty? Uh, medium question. If someone have the good graphs on lead code, then you can easily solve the second question also. Mm, so it was like a standard problem, right? Ah, uh, yes, standard problem. First one was very much easy. So my prime interview was started after the one month of the result. And in that prime, in that interview, there are the three interviewers in a single interview room, technical, then manager and the HR. Uh, everyone was asking their own questions like my for me the interview started with the manager the manager asked me the first question like uh, tell me about yourself i introduced myself and on on that basis they asked me the cross questions like in my interview i mentioned that uh, i qualified gate csc 2025 and my about my tech stack so they asked me like uh, why you appear for the gate and uh, do you have any plans for the higher studies and all. So I explained them, yes, I have the uh, I have the planning, but right now, not right now, I will uh, do it later after the job or other. Yes. And after that, the technical uh, technical recruiters start asking me the questions uh, like first question was the what is difference between C and C++ then the upper Oops, questions like uh, overloading and overriding and give me the real time example, all of them. Then difference between SQL and no SQL, why you use SQL in your project. Uh, then what are the DML commands? What is transaction, acid properties? Then like networking questions also, like what is the three handshaking? Uh, yes, operating system, what is deadlock, uh, how to handle deadlocks, right? Overall, they overall they asked me all about the resume means. What I, whatever I have mentioned in the resume, they asked me all the things. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 and was there any DSA in the interview? Yes, they asked me one question of DSA, like finding the frequency of each element. They given me one array and tell me to write a full program in whatever language I am feasible. So uh, I'm good in a C++. So I code the coded it in a C++ from starting to end. And after the coding part, they asked me to explain the each and every word written in the paper. Mm, got yes. it, got it. Yes. And uh, anything you feel you felt was difficult in the interview, anything which threw you off or something? Yeah, yes. The Last questions like they asked me what you know about the Tata group and what you like in Tata group and what is the difference between Tata group and Birla group. Yes, and like the and also the questions like uh, do you if you got another offer rather than the TCS, then what will you do? Yes, this type of questions. And the situation based situation based questions also. Uh, if you are doing your work and if you want to go in your family function, but manager give you the uh, task at the runtime, what will you do? Yes. So I explained them. I will focus on the job work first. And after that, I can go to the family functions one hour later also. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, amazing. So pretty much they asked everything in the single interview only, right? Yes, All yes. Everything meaning from managerial, HR to technical. How long did it last? Uh, it interview? was for the one hour. Okay, it was the one hour, right? 
yes all right cool 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 so you know pretty much and uh, cracking the prime rule is a not an easy task obviously because it is the best role in thesis and obviously as i can see from your experience also the questions that they asked was of also pretty good level so yes, yes. i would like to know more about your preparation you know how did you prepare because you have multiple things you have aptitude your cs fundamentals your dsa so yes, how did yes, you yes. prepare for it basically so i started preparing from the once i got the interview link interview details like uh, i started uh, reading the articles on gigs for gigs then uh, as i am good in a problem solving though i haven't prepared for that but i focus on the questions of os cn and dbms uh, read the articles on the gigs for gigs and then watch some of the videos on youtube like interview experience of the other persons uh, which will help me to give the interview and prepare for that also like how to behave in an interview then what type of questions they will ask me so i'm preparing for them so for aptitude i basically use the youtube videos only like i prepare the whole aptitude in a 10 to 15 days because i only follow yes i only follow the previous year questions of tcs previous year tcs questions and some of the questions on the indiabix.com for practicing and for coding part i haven't uh, prepared because i am start uh, pre- preparing it from the first year also Mm. Yes. Correct, correct, correct. I think PYQs are very important, right? For uh, yes, yes. NQT, most of the times. Because I think my paper uh, exam is after the seven to eight exams of the other other students. So I prepare only the questions of the other students. Like uh, everyone mentioned their questions on the YouTube or the channels. So I prepare them, and also from some the some of the IndiaBix.com questions. i will suggest viewers that uh, they should focus on the aptitude fast part aptitude aptitude part first because if they crack the aptitude then only they can go to the code part and crack the prime rule <laughs> yes right 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 most of the people ignore aptitude right and they focus on dsa but here aptitude is equally important if not more important right ah uh, right equally important mm mm-hmm. All right, cool, cool. So we discussed about the process. We've discussed about your preparation as well. So on a final note, to all of the people who are watching this video, who also want to crack the prime rolling TCS, what advice would you like to give? Yeah. So my only advice will that uh, you should focus on the aptitude part first, and then the code part, because aptitude is the most important part of the TCS NQT. Because the if you fail in a suppose foundation section. then it has no use that you code all the two questions because there is a criteria that you must follow the first pass the foundation section and then go towards the coding part yes so aptitude is a very much important and then code part if you solve at least one question then you will be called for the digital role and if you are come up with the solution for two codes then the prime role will be your All right, cool, cool, cool. So I think we have covered pretty much everything about cracking the prime rule in TCS. And if anyone of you still have any doubt, I'll give Aditya's LinkedIn in the description. You guys can follow him from there and connect with him from there as well. So thanks a lot, Aditya, for coming on my channel, sharing your journey, this interview yes. experience. I hope this helps a lot of students here. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Ashish. You too. Also, nice to meet you.